Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. With that said, I'm here to talk to you about an initiative that was first introduced right here at CitizenCon in 2019, and that's adding distinct purpose and specializations to armor and clothing in our game. So let's get started. So, Star Citizen is a game about almost everything, where you can do almost anything. With so many different options of gameplay, whether that be mining, piloting, FPS combat, or even a captain of industry. Unlike other traditional MMOs, we don't impose rules or classes onto the player. In real life, people are not just one thing. I'm sure you can all relate, I've had many different jobs, I've not always been a game designer. In fact, it was only a week ago that I found out that Jared used to do tech support for prosthetic legs. It's true, yeah. you can ask him. That said, if you're like me, you like to excel at whatever you're doing. So, that brings us on to the concept of specializations. This is about bringing more purpose, more considerations, and more decisions to arm and clothing you wear beyond just looking cool. So, what are they? Specializations are the focus of your current daily adventure. That could be a daring racing, a cargo hauler, or a first responder. Specializations are a series of attributes assigned to each piece of clothing and armor in the verse to allow you to make informed decisions on both how you want to look and how you want to perform. What are they not? Specializations are not assigned classes. There's no magic toggle where suddenly you're forced into a role like a cleric or a wizard or even a piece of delivery person. They also do not limit you. You can still do almost everything in any armor and clothing you want you just, don't, don't, just won't do it as well as you could have if you had specialized. Why are these necessary? Well, specializations enhance gameplay depth. They add a level of role play and immersion. Specializations can provide a sense of ownership of your playstyle. At its core, SC is driven by choice, with specializations offering a deeper layer of player options. And that's the option to excel, to fall around, to min-max, or give yourself a unique challenge. Specialization allows us as developers to make gameplay experiences that are deeper and more complex. So whether you're a salvager, a bounty hunter, or a medic, there will be specialized suits that will help outperform your peers. So at this point, you may be asking yourself, okay, well, how do I specialize? It starts by determining your play style. What do you want to do today? Are you going to be a trader, a smuggler, an assassin? Is there a void in your organization that needs filling? This is a decision you get to make and remake every single time you log in. Or, if you're like me, perhaps several times in a single play session. Once you know what you want to do, it's time to start hunting for the right gear. Specialized items are not intended to be found in any old store. You're going to have to do the legwork. You'll have to align with some of those guilds and factions that JJ and Benoit just talked about in the previous presentation. You'll have to explore the galaxy, find hidden stashes, and rare opportunities for better gear. Specialized items are meant for those who are willing to put in the work to exceed at your role. And once you've done all that, it's about selecting the right combination of armor and clothing. Yes, I said it, mixing clothing and armor is built into the very fabric of this new system. Can I get a hell yeah? All right. All right. I know you guys have wanted this for a long time, so yeah, great. And to tell you even more about this new system that we do call Starware, please welcome to the stage lead character technical artist Armando Lira. Thanks, <laughs> bro. Thank you so much, Nick. Hello, everyone. I am so happy to be here presenting for the first time. How cool are specializations? Uh, we are sure you'll enjoy finding the best combinations for your playstyle. And for that, we had to create a system that gave you all the freedom that you deserve. It's something that I am sure you've all been waiting for so long. Star Wars. So if you are... <laughs> Are you tired of choosing between clothing or armor? Yeah. So finally, you'll be able to mix and match. Star Wars is fashion that meets purpose. 
As specializations provide you with a multitude of stats to combine, you'll also be able to choose the visual style that you want. But beware, with added options also comes the responsibility of choosing the right combination for the right situation. Let's look at some of the possibilities that Star Wars will be able to provide you. As you all saw, the possibilities are huge. Like, have you ever wanted to put on a jacket on top of an understood? Yes! Yeah! How about an armor on top of a sleeveless shirt? Or even without no shirt at all? Like, backpacks on clothing? Yeah. So Star Wars allows more customization than ever. But be careful, certain gameplay implications will still be true. You won't be able to go to the, into the vacuum of space without a space-worthy undersuit and helmet. And in certain planets, you'll need a breathable mask or helmet to survive. I hope you guys are excited about this as much as we are. And we've heard what you all want, and we're making a system to bring it all to you. But. That is enough about Star Wars for now. Let's go back with Nick and learn more about how Star Wars and specializations will improve your gameplay. Well done, bro. All right. Thank you, Armando. Some nice dancing as well, by the way. So as you can see, the Star Wars system is about adding function to fashion. We are still Star Citizen, one of the best looking video games out there, but we're always gonna make sure that you look your best, but now, with added purpose. So to recap, we're gonna go through we're adding intent and purpose to all our clothing and armor sets. As designers, we really want the visuals to match the stats that our great character, our team have made. So for example, if a pair of pants look particularly armored, chances are they'll have modest damage mitigation to match. Many armors will be specialized for distinct use cases. Currently, we realize right now, bigger is generally better when it comes to FPS armor, and we know that shouldn't always necessarily be the case. There will be some armors that won't have EVA thrusters built into the suit, so you lose EVA capability. Some armors won't even be space worthy. Specializations means getting better at certain things at the cost of attributes and others. This is about compelling you, the player, to make tactical decisions for every situation you may find yourself in. So now let's look at some practical use cases for the Star Wars system. Whilst all our armors are becoming specialized, let's take a look at a select few, which I will add are some of my favorites. We are gonna assemble a team to tackle one of Star Citizen's most anticipated adversaries that you'll get to meet later on. Let's meet our first specialization. All right. All right, so we have our leader. Let's get into it. So the player's choice of clothing will be crucial in a way it hasn't been before. With magnetic plates built into many clothing items, players can now holster both primary and secondary weapons. However, in the near future, there will be locations in SC where armor and weapons are strictly prohibited. Clothing allows a player the opportunity to access these restricted areas without needing to change. And uh, some clothing will even allow the player to conceal smaller weapons from security, should the need arise. Another new addition we are going to be introducing is flight penalties based on the mass and size of your armor and clothing. You'll still be able to fly in medium and heavy armor, but you're restricting the precision of your control. 
If you're in clothes like our leader is here, or a flight suit or light armor, you'll be able to fly unrestricted. Now, if we look at an overview, we've cherry-picked six generalized stats to give you like a high-level understanding of how various clothing and armors we specialized. This is by no means a comprehensive list of everything we have available to us. It's just a little, yeah. So here you can see the leader has low protection compared to a full suit of armor and no EVA capability for obvious reasons, but has great movement, low emissions, allowing them to blend into bustling cities and stations. The leader really excels at freedom of movement here. Let's meet our next members. So here we have our pilot. If you remember, back in 323, we introduced our first specialized helmet visor, the combat visor. This introduced the dynamic crosshair and all the magazine information on your HUD. This is our pilot visor, which allows the wearer to link with their ship and cast MFDs directly into their visor. This provides the pilot with all the essential data like ship health and shields, so no longer will the pilot need to break concentration during an intense situation to look down at their MFDs. Again, like the leader in this situation, there'll be no penalties to flight. Plus, with added G-force resistance, the wearer will be able to get the most from out of their ship. So if we look at the pilot stats, they have fantastic mobility. Like I mentioned, great G-force resistance for when combat takes them to the limit of human endurance. And finally, this suit comes with the best EVA capability in its class for when remaining in your ship is no longer an option. Here's another variant in our flight suit class, the racing flight suit. This is what our driver will be wearing. This suit, unlike the pilot flight suit, has features which are more streamlined, which allows it to have truly unmatched G-force resistance for the hardest corners on the most challenging of racetracks. It also offers great oxygen capacity and thermal protection for those planets with hostile environments. So as you can see, this flight suit excels at G-force resistance, but it loses its protection and has much weaker EVA capability. Let's meet our next team members. Here is our tank, who is wearing our heavy combat armor. Combat armor is similar to what you're used to, only we're specializing it even more for combat. So what does this mean? We want our wearers of heavy combat armor to feel like walking tanks. The armor should provide fantastic coverage to limit any weak points they may have, and actually have a greater damage mitigation than what players are currently used to. Due to its mass, the armor will also uh, feature the strongest resistance to force reactions, so that's flinch, stagger, and knockdowns, which brings me on to a full suit feature. If the player is wearing a full set of heavy combat armor, they will not be able to be knocked down by small arms fire. Thank you. However, as you can see here, for all that protection, coverage, and stability, we have some major trade-offs. You're going to lose your mobility, stamina will run out much quicker, and your movement speed is severely reduced. The majority of combat armors will also lose built-in EVA thrusters, meaning you're going to have to add additional weight to have you wearing an EVA pack. 
Next up, we have our tracker in the Heavy Hunter armor. This is another suit in our Heavy Armor class. However, this one is aimed at less at pure combat and more about hunting its prey. This is all the armor for you bounty hunters out there. The Heavy Hunter armor has the most powerful active scan for hunting their targets. Its scanner outshines all others in locating infrared and electromagnetic emissions. Perfect for locating those uh, targets trying to lay low, whether that be human or creature alike. Whilst it's still classed as heavy armor, it does mix things up, so I'll have slightly faster movement and mobility, uh, but it loses the protection. You'll also be able to store more devices like deployables and throwables. So as we compare the stats, whilst not as tough as our combat armor, it does gain an increase in mobility, and while its scanner is the best of the best, the armor is also incredibly noisy and emits powerful emissions. So while you may find your target with ease, there's a good chance that they'll know you're coming for them. Next up, let's look at our last additions to the team. I can tell who the fan favorite is there. Yeah. Uh, so we have our sniper who is wearing our light stealth armor. Here is another example of a full suit feature. If the wearer has all pieces equipped, so that's helmet, core, arms, and legs, due to its mass and the suit's material, their missions will run so low that they will be undetectable on radar. With it being light armor, it also has a great level of mobility and traversal speeds, meaning should the wearer be spotted, they can quickly escape or reposition with ease. And remember, with it being light armor, no flight restrictions. So with the best stealth and fantastic speed, it's a must for any players looking to assassinate, infiltrate, or in this case, be a sniper. However, the protection provided is minimal. You don't want to be engaging in a full-on firefight in this suit. Um, and just to reiterate, folks, as well, like great specialized armors like this one and all the ones that you've seen today, you're going to have to put the work in to have these at your disposal. And finally, surround our group, we have that one friend. <laughs> We've all played MMOs, right? We all know that one friend. <laughs> that friend's me. No. Uh, they ignore all the rules and the strategy. They can only play for 30 minutes a week. They might prefer a bit of glint on their sniper scopes. Who knows? Well, here at CIG, we also support that friend, so they're on the roster too. So. We have our group. What do you guys think? Were you fun? All right, all right. So let's see what they face ahead and if they're up for the challenge. And to talk to you about that challenge, please welcome to the stage senior system designer, Zach Priest. You've been great, thank you. Oh, luckily this thing's only got two buttons. So, hello, I'm Zach Priest. I do a variety of things at CIG, but, but thank you, the people at the front. Uh, I do a variety of things at CIG. <laughs> I do a variety of things at CIG, but I'm mostly a designer who works with AI and guns. So, most of you be wondering, what could the next part of the presentation be about? Well, let's get stuck in. Star Citizen, at its heart, is about community. From our relationship with players to the big dynamic events that citizens work together to complete. We love group content and missions that allow players to work together to achieve a goal. 